EVs are becoming the new standard. According to some estimates, electric vehicle sales in the United States could account for 40% of total passenger car sales by 2030. It has been predicted that EV sales will essentially double in China, France, Germany, and the United Kingdom. In the spring of 2020, 34% of survey respondents were inclined to purchase an electric vehicle. By March of 2021, this number increased to 51%. Moreover, a number of automakers have already released variants of electric vehicles, and Tesla is one of the most prominent. But since there are already so many EV companies and there will be many more in 2023, why should you invest in Tesla? We welcome you back to Tesla 2. Charlie Munger, vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, recently praised Tesla, labeling it a remarkable achievement in the American automobile industry. He expressed astonishment that Tesla has been performing so well, reiterating the automaker's dominant position in the industry. According to Munger, Tesla has made significant contributions to civilization, and its CEO, Elon Musk, has accomplished feats that others could not. He added that there hasn't been a thriving new auto company in a long time, describing Tesla's accomplishments in the automobile industry as a minor miracle. Tesla approaches the world differently. It is not only a car firm, but also a tech company. This is what distinguishes it from other EV manufacturers. In this video, we will explore why you should invest in Tesla so that you don't lose out on upcoming major developments. Let's get into it. However, before we continue, if you enjoy this type of content, don't neglect to click the like button. Subscribe and activate the chime for post alerts. In this manner, you will be informed of all Tesla-related events. Tesla's endeavor to expand its production capacity is an intriguing catalyst that could propel it toward becoming the world's leading automaker. The automaker intends to acquire its 4,600 NE cells, and it is also increasing factory output. With future intentions to construct additional facilities, Tesla intends to construct additional factories around the world in order to accomplish its goal of producing over 20 million electric vehicles annually by 2030. And according to Elon Musk, Tesla could ultimately end up building more factories, presumably at least 10 or 12 gigafactories to achieve this goal. Tesla has been attempting to increase production in its Vermont factory through the use of automation, just as it has in its Shanghai facility. However, according to the EV manufacturer, it is already planning a new factory in Mexico. By constructing more factories, Tesla is able to increase its market share and maintain its position as the foremost electric vehicle EV manufacturer while also reducing the cost of producing these vehicles. Tesla already intends to reduce the cost of manufacturing its EVs, and although the automaker has already reduced the cost of its Model Y batteries by up to $3,000, it intends to reduce costs further by utilizing a dry coat process for its 4680 cells. And despite claims by some experts that Tesla is encountering challenges in achieving this, the automaker still has a good chance of reaching this milestone. Tesla has also made significant strides toward his autonomous driving objectives. The future of autonomous vehicles appears promising and Tesla stands to gain significantly from this. Researchers predict that there will be approximately 8 million autonomous or automated vehicles on the road by the year 2025. And autonomous transportation could generate $300 billion to $400 billion in revenue by 2035. There is already a developing market for EVs, and it is anticipated that this market will grow even more in the future. Based on Wall Street analysis Pierre Farrago, since electric cars have become more popular, Tesla and its competitors' market shares may be determined by their ability to increase production volumes in tandem with the growing demand for Tesla vehicles. Ross Gerber, chief executive officer of Gerber Kawasaki Wealth and Investment Management, has stated that investing in electric vehicles and Tesla could be the most significant investment strategy of the next decade. The Tesla bulls stated that investing in the EV theme will be one of their primary focuses in the future years, despite the fact that investment risk must be considered even when investing in a business as promising as EVs. Now this only applies to standard electric vehicles. Imagine the potential future of autonomous electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are gaining dominance, and almost everyone desires to be a part of this trend. 
Tesla has become one of the world's most valuable corporations, with a market capitalization of over $600 billion. Since 2009, Tesla has produced a total of 1.91 million vehicles as of January of last year. In the first two quarters of 2022 alone, the automaker manufactured 386,759 vehicles and delivered nearly the same number as in the third quarter of 2021. Tesla is also expanding its energy storage business, which is a massive development. The automaker may expand specifically into solar and renewable energy. In particular, Tesla's solar panels are highly regarded in their respective market, to its cost-effectiveness. According to reports, Tesla is one of the largest solar installers in the United States, and this is just one of the many potential markets in which the company could sell solar panels in conjunction with other products. In 2023, the automaker can then increase its revenue and profit margins. It is anticipated that Tesla will establish new solar manufacturing facilities and introduce new products. Nonetheless, it is essential to consider the possibility of Musk selling Tesla shares once more. The CEO of Tesla recently stated that he will not sell any more Tesla shares for at least 18 months. However, after selling approximately $40 billion worth of Tesla stock in the past year, causing the share price to fall to a two-year low in April, Musk continued selling shares. The billionaire CEO sold nearly $40 billion in stock over the past year, primarily to finance his acquisition of Twitter. In October, Tesla shares had fallen by roughly two-thirds in a year due to concerns about Musk's Twitter leadership, as well as inflation, interest rates, and other factors. Additionally, Tesla's superchargers help generate revenue for the electric car company and Tesla. Superchargers generate electricity from solar energy, which results in almost negative marginal energy cost after installation. Consequently, Tesla car owners do not have to spend excessive amounts of money to charge their vehicles. According to a recent JD Power study, Tesla has a significant competitive advantage over other EV companies in terms of customer service, as its supercharging network is the most customer satisfying. It is not remarkable, given the demand for customer service features that an automaker like Tesla has been able to provide for its supercharger users. Tesla described the six California superchargers that were initially installed as just the beginning, adding that the company planned to install superchargers in high traffic corridors across the United States the following year, which it did until recently. However, previous tweets from the well-known YouTuber Sawyer Merritt may suggest otherwise. In the image shared by Sawyer, a new feature on the Tesla app introduces supercharger membership for non-Tesla EV owners. Tesla offers two plans for this. A pay-per-use plan that allows users to access the supercharger network at once and a monthly membership subscription for $0.99 in the United States, plus a lower price per kilowatt hour for members. However, Tesla quickly removed the feature from the app after Sawyer Merritt made this post, leaving most individuals uncertain as to whether or not the company would actually do it. By allowing more users onto its superchargers, Tesla intends to build a larger network for its business and generate more revenue. Initially, Tesla provided its customers with unlimited free charging options, primarily to entice early adopters to purchase its vehicles. As a consequence of the pandemic, the automaker discontinued this feature in 2017, reintroducing it only for Model S and Model X sales, despite the fact that the option is available for Tesla. Superchargers it resulted from an unanticipated challenge and has proven to be a lucrative source of revenue for the company, which will increase if Tesla extends its services to non-Tesla users. Do you believe investing in Tesla will be profitable in 2023? If you would like to learn more about what Tesla has been up to over the past few days, please click on the next video on your screen. There you are.